There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the fifth season of the Random DOS Game Show. And we're starting it out with an accolade game called Star Control! Famous Battles of the Urquan Conflict, Volume 4. And we've got uh, a main menu here, which has practice, melee, or the full game. We can also set players here, as this wonderful MT32 score hits us with the main theme of Star Control. So let's set players, and uh, it's all keyboard controlled. Hmm. So we have the option, the usual option, between human and computer, but we also have Cyborg. Computer fights battles for human player. Uh, I guess I want to feel that the battle's my own. And then Cytron. Computer decides strategy. Is that like how the battle will start or something? We'll want a computer. Uh, standard rating. Uh, we'll, we'll just go human. We'll go human. Uh, okay. So... Let's start with the full game, I guess. Preparing fleets for full game. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Uh, presumably we want to start at beginner's luck. A lone siren must prevent androsynth deployment. I don't know what that means, but maybe they'll elaborate here. Beginner's luck. Let's start a timer. Forgot about that. A single siren patrolling a distant star cluster comes across an androsynth development. The newly commissioned siren commander decides to engage the androsynth, thereby ending the threat and quite possibly winning a quick promotion. The siren commander must quickly defeat the androsynth before he can build additional ships. The androsynth Alpha Plus commander must choose between defending its colony world and its starbase. Time is on the Androsynth side, and the enemy must come to him. Okay, so this is... Oh, this is interesting. It's like Master of Orion. Well, it predates Master of Orion. But it's spinning! Look at it spin! So, that's Corb 7B that we've selected. And it's got crew and fuel. So, presumably, it's a craft... Um, and we can select with the arrow keys between the Starbase and the Androsynth. Presumably we're the Androsynth. So we're the baddies, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, so we can either protect our Starbase and just keep everybody in orbit and wait for the enemy to come to us. But that would be boring, wouldn't it? Let's Let's do something. Okay, Corb 7B, select. I like the little game show like noises. That's right, Jimmy! You've won a new car! Anyway, <laughs> not funny. Uh, let's see, move, fortify, or pass? Um, let's go with fortify. Uh, okay, and the little dot at the bottom has gone down. So this is a turn-based over overworld overworld. You know what I mean? Overview of the galaxy as we know it. So we've got Corb fortifying. Uh, it can also move apparently. The ME two six two. Let's uh, let's move that. So okay, that that's a little confusing. Um, it's got like, it's it's still rotating as you choose, like the warp point. Reminds me a bit of uh, Space Empires, the, the warp lanes and stuff. Uh, but again, much like Master of Orion, all that stuff came later. This, this predates this. So let's go there. And we've moved. So we have new options here, uh, and we still we still have a turn, two turns in fact. So let's mine that. Okay. So 
presumably he's creating a mine now. And presumably he's fortifying that area. So we can't do anything with the star, star base. And the currency is called Starbucks. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so there's there's a pile of like, uh, is that potential craft we can buy? I'm not sure. So let's hit pass. Oh, there we go. It's showing us the computer moves. Okay. So he's moved into a closer position, and I guess. Now that, oh, is is he just constantly fortifying that position? I wonder. Let's let's move core about. Um, where do we want to go that way? I have to say the actual movement in the galaxy map. I like the idea of you know space is three D and stuff, but the constant spinning. Uh, it's, it's not it's not it's not my cup of tea. I have to say. So the white. Uh, indicates where you want to move. So we could move out there and boldly head towards the... Uh, uh, let's mine that area for more Starbucks. So I think, yes, the Starbucks has gone up since we mined. So you have to mine in order to get more Starbucks, in order to build more craft from your star base. Hmm. And we have to watch out for that enemy ship, which looks bigger than ours. Um, let's fortify that area. Okay, so we've done all our turns. Battle ensues. Uh-oh. Okay, Zeta Vol 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 Volantis Three, a mineral world. Press a key to begin battle. Okay. Okay. Uh, what what are our controls here? I don't I don't know the controls. I should probably have looked up the controls. That would have been a good idea. <laughs> so uh, we're pretty much doomed here um, because we don't know the controls. I'm hitting the numpad, but it's not doing anything. Okay. Oh, that MT-32 refrain. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay. So, we've lost a craft, and uh, we're probably going to lose the game soon as well. Um, but that's that's on me. That's, that's not to do with the game. It was interesting to sort of uh, see. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can figure out these controls. Um... Battle ensues, right. Okay. Right, so I actually went and I looked up the keyboard controls by default. So, for the hierarchy, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's horrific. And for the alliance, it's even worse. It's N, M, comma, full stop, question mark. And this is according to LemonAmiga.com uh, because I could not find reference to the key commands anywhere. Fortunately, there is actually a uh, program that uh, comes with Star Control called Keys.exe and I'm going to briefly show you that. And that allows you to actually change the key combinations to something a bit more palatable. This is the keyboard configuration by default for the Steam version of Star Control 1, which is a lot more palatable. Obviously, they looked at the game and they thought nobody in their right mind is going to control the craft with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or whatever ungodly combination that other craft had. And that's why I couldn't play the flying game. So, there you go. No time for that. Uh, it's already begun. And we're not moving at all. Why aren't we moving? I mean, in the previous one we moved. 
Okay, we're just we're just sitting ducks apparently. Awesome. Uh Nope, nothing. Great. So, uh, I am hammering the keyboard. Oh! Something happened there. Okay. But I couldn't tell you what. The, uh, the space controls are horrific, I guess. Aha! I think, I think, it's, it's the number keys, but my numeric keypad didn't do anything. Okay, it's three to fire. And, oh, it's not three to fire. Okay, so, I'm <laughs> just hammering on the keys here. And I don't know what I'm doing uh, at all. Okay, five is apparent. It apparently uh, shoots off some sort of weapon. So if I if I lure him in and then hit my weapon, ah, okay, okay, and then. Yes, that works. Okay, so I wait for my fuel to regenerate, and then I fired a weapon. Unfortunately, I'm not hitting him. So, uh, that could be a problem. <laughs> okay, let the fuel reserves go up, and then take a hit, and then boom! Ah, I didn't get him. He's too crafty. I would need to know how to actually move my craft in order to uh, stand a chance. That does something, but it takes fuel. And I wish, I wish I knew how to turn my craft. Because it would make for an entertaining, you know... Uh, oh, I hit him a bit there, I think. Okay, draw him in. And I'm down anyway. That's unfortunate, but again, it's it's just the, uh, the obtuse... Um, control of the uh, craft so he's three to just uh, destroy everything now there we go there goes the star base and that's that I lost <laughs> the alliance squelches the hierarchy in beginner's luck forces remaining uh, just that craft yeah so yeah, Star Control 1. What is it? It is a combination of genres. It's a turn-based strategy overview with some bizarre spinning galaxy, which does not seem to stop. And that looks particularly interesting. It reminds me of a sort of proto-master of Orion. And then when combat happens, it's a top-down third-person perspective. And I think if you use the keys executable, to change the controls. It looks very playable and very interesting. And it's just unfortunate that in the middle of my playthrough, I had to put in that disclaimer. Terrible, terrible control scheme, but it's one that can be fixed. It looks like a good strategy game, but I feel like the sequel has just been so highly praised by so many people as one of the greatest DOS games ever that you might be better off just looking at that one where they sanded off all the rough edges, so to speak. But yeah, Star Control. Good fun if you can get the configurations right. Oh, and if you enjoyed me floundering around with key commands there and smashing my keyboard in frustration, feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other DOS games where that doesn't happen. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Oh, and if you really enjoyed my suffering, patronage is an option. Look at all these fine people who became my patrons. Aren't they great? Until next time.